Hello, hello everybody. This is Rio with Posh Plum Plans. And today I am coming at you with a plan with me with my non-dated daily Clever Fox planner. So I'm not sure if you guys have seen this planner running around the internet, but I found it, I fell in love and here I am showing you guys exactly how I plan on using it. The company was so generous to send me one to take a look at. And also we are doing a giveaway. Any of the Clever Fox planners that you choose, if you win, you get to choose whichever Clever Fox planner you want as the prize. So stay tuned to the end of this video to see how to win. But otherwise, let's get into the plan with me. So I am starting on the main dashboard of the weekly pages. I wanted to jump right into this planner and see exactly how well it would work for me during my week and for each individual day. So the first thing I'm doing here is I am outlining my main goals and I am outlining the reward that I would get if I hit those goals. And then I am outlining my priorities. So for this particular planner, I wanted to use my normal color coding system. It is not the prettiest, I will admit, but I do love a good color coding system. I've been using this particular system for several years and my mind just knows exactly what the colors mean. And so it's very easy to just glance at a page and know exactly what I need to do. For example, I'm writing down my work to-do list in red, and purple and the next color I'm going to pick up is orange which is all for YouTube filming editing and my Etsy shop so I know that if I'm writing something in orange it is for my Etsy shop and it's just much much easier for me next I'm going to jump into the personal to-do list so I'm basically writing in this section so I don't look like a chicken with my head cut off so I'm writing in things like school events and you know remembering popcorn day or to make sure that we make it to all of the Halloween events that we were doing things like that then I jumped right into my habits and my skills now these are almost never the same for me from week to week I sit down on my Sunday night plan and I figure out what I want to concentrate on as far as my habits and my skills go and I go from there so those are always changing then I've got this life balance to-do list down at the bottom. And I really love this section because it takes some very, very important aspects of your life and makes sure that you fill something in to balance those areas. So you're dealing with things like health and personal development, spiritual development, family and friends, just things that you really need to be mindful of. And I like that section because I can put something in there and make sure I get something done to better each area of my life. So let's jump right into Monday. This happened to be Columbus Day, so I didn't have a whole lot going on as far as planning ahead, but I did wanna make sure that I got some serious things done. So my girls didn't have school this day, and whenever that happens, we either have a kid-friendly event happening or we just kind of let the day go and you know see where it takes us so as far as structuring and pre-planning and things like that i don't have a whole lot of that happening on days when they're not in school so for example in the schedule that i've got here i've got wake up breakfast and then an empty section here for projects in play so i didn't have things perfectly outlined but i knew i wanted to block out that section i also made sure we did our yard work we played around in the pool and then we went out to eat and I've got a six o'clock standing appointment on every single day to make sure that I plan the day ahead. And then I've got bedtimes written down there as well so that I don't forget who goes to bed when. Then I've got my to-do list for the day. I put this down here just to feel super ambitious, but I knew a lot of it was not gonna get done. So we definitely had fun and we relaxed. I did manage to watch some Plan With Me's on YouTube, but I did not do all the laundry and I did not meal plan. Can we see where my priorities are? <laughs> I got the YouTube done, but not the laundry. I didn't get a 10 for productivity on that day, but we had a good day anyway. I finished up the day by putting in the habits and skills. I put check marks for what I did and put big gaping circles for what I didn't get done. So that's just almost like an eyesore for me so I can see what I did not get done. 
and then I flipped all the way back to the weekly notes section. Now this part was super important for me to make sure that I got this done on a daily basis because I wanted to be successful when it came to the page on the right, which is the weekly review. And if I'm sitting down at the end of my week to do a weekly review and I really can't remember much of what happened, I'm not going to do a good review. So that's the importance of putting those notes down. Let's jump right into Tuesday now, which is the 15th. And I decided to change it up a little bit by throwing in a color. Now, this is not a color coded color for me. This is just wanting to make my planner a little bit prettier than I had the day before. So the day before I did all black ink and tried to stay as productive as I could. So now I'm kind of playing around with the planner just to see where I can introduce a little bit of decoration. I don't want to go so far as to make the decoration the priority as opposed to making the planning the priority if that makes any sense so of course I want it to be fun and creative and give me a reason to come back to this planner every day but I also want it to be able to keep me accountable and make sure that I get things done that I need to get done so of course I am putting down my main goals for the day my priorities and then in the schedule I try to do a little bit more um, hour by hour. I am a person who works really, really well to a deadline. And even if the deadline is getting the laundry done by 1030, I play this little game with myself to make sure that I'm getting things done. Otherwise, I can easily slip into that place where it's like, you know what? I don't have a boss. Nobody's watching. Who cares if the dishes get done? There are still things that need to get done in my household to keep my family successful. So I do give myself these hourly deadlines. I just feel it works best for me. then jumped right into my to-do list with things that I wanted to get done. Now for my to-do list, it does get a little bit redundant. Okay, so I will write something in my to-do list, but then I will also write it in my schedule. So just because it's on my to-do list doesn't mean it's going to get done. So you'll see that I might write something down in my to-do list, but I've also got it up in my schedule as well so that I am accountable and putting something down so I know at seven o'clock i've got body flow and that's what i'm supposed to be doing you know it just again keeps you mindful of what you're trying to get done so that you don't slump into that well it doesn't really matter if i don't get that done just keeping yourself accountable makes it feel like you're having a productive day and then raises your vibe so on wednesday here i've got a couple of things that I had planned as far as appointments. So I started by putting my appointments in there. I will admit that I started to get a little bit behind and I know it's only Wednesday and I'm starting to get behind. So ideally this schedule should have been filled up with a lot more activities, but I ended up just letting the day get away from me. And the whole point of being in this planner is to make sure that I don't do that. So because there is so much white space in this area, I thought, you know what, I'm going to take that as an opportunity to try decorating. Now, I absolutely love the Happy Planner line of stickers. I've got a few brands of stickers that are my go to. Mommy Lay is always a great go to for stickers and for decorating. And then Happy Planner is also another really big go to. So with all of this white space, I thought I would give decorating a chance so you can see the stark difference between Tuesday where I'm just writing things down and planning things out with a pen and then on the other page of Wednesday how it could look if you want to throw some stickers in and do some decorating so I didn't go crazy I did a couple of quotes a couple of things here and there and uh, just kind of let that be you'll see later in the video I do come back and put a little something extra on Tuesday but for Wednesday that was it for planning so then I'm into Thursday and I am completely losing steam when it came to planning I will admit that to you guys I did not do any pre-planning by this point I was basically writing down what I had accomplished in the day. So this is at the end of Thursday, as opposed to at the beginning of the day, or even the night before, setting yourself up for success. So I'm writing down a note here to remind myself to celebrate all the victories because I felt like I really didn't have any that day. Do you have days like that where you just feel like I did not have 
victories. I was not successful today. <laughs> and even though I may have felt that way, I wanted to still remind myself, hey, there's victories. There are victories in every single day. So I'm writing down here a couple of the things that I did just to remind myself if I wanted to go back and flip through the book to see, you know, hey, when did I make that trip to Walmart? Or when did I visit Letha? Or, you know, when did I do that research? I just wanted to have it in here so that I knew when I was doing some things because I was having a problem with my external hard drive, getting uh, hooked up to my iPad, ugh, long story. But anyway, I got it all fixed and I wanted to remember when I did. So that was on this Thursday. I'm putting down in my productivity section that I need more concrete plans. And I need to work on planning ahead because I'll admit to you, I didn't have the highest vibe at the end of this day. <laughs> Baby hands help <laughs> to give you a higher vibe. <laughs> this often is why I don't get a lot done in my day because I've got a little sidekick. Say hi, Abby. <laughs> And that is literally what my life is like. You know, I'm trying to sit down, I'm trying to plan, and then a baby is crawling all over my desk. Don't worry, this is not a, a, a desk in my office. Um, I should show you guys the, the setup that I have here. This is actually made up of a board, like a foam board covered in contact paper, so I can take it with me anywhere and I can set up my lights. So this is actually in the middle of my living room floor. I know it looks like I'm sitting at a desk, but it's in the middle of my living room floor and that's why my little one keeps crawling all around because you know he's right here with me and I'm keeping an eye on him. So anyway, completely lost my train of thought. I didn't have the highest vibes at the end of Thursday because I didn't do any planning ahead. So I've got lots and lots of white space for decorating and that's what I'm doing here. So I'm still in my happy planner books and I thought, let's just go all out. Let's just do some decorating here. And it's still, will be able to give me some good vibes when I look at it because I can see, <laughs> sorry, he just, he loves to plan with mama. That's all I can say. <laughs> but I wanted to raise my vibration and just be able to still be happy when I looked at this page and not look at this page and go, wow, you really didn't plan. You barely got anything done you know, shame on you. You know, I didn't want to have that happen when I look back at the page. So I'm flipping through my books and trying to find the happiest, prettiest stickers I can to put in here. This visit that I did to Lita was actually my mom's office. So we call her Lita. It's short for Abuelita. Um, we are a I guess Spanglish speaking household. <laughs> so I've got that in there and I wanted to remember that I went to visit her that day because she's retiring soon and pretty soon I won't be able to just surprise her at work. You know, she's going to be at home living a whole new life and I'm so excited for that chapter of her life. But it was a very special thing to me to go and visit her on what I felt like was probably going to be the last time I would see her office and Avi had never been. All my my other girls have been to the office and we've done surprise visits but um, Avi had not been so that was a special thing I wanted to record now you'll see me flipping through I went back to Tuesday and I pointed to a little bit of white space on Tuesday here in the middle of the day these animal stickers which I love super cute I couldn't really find much functionality with them and I didn't really need anything functional in that space so I thought why not throw an iguana in the middle of Tuesday, right? Because don't people need iguanas in the middle of Tuesday? No, just me. <laughs> okay, so again, just having fun with this planner. I did do some pre-planning on Tuesday, but I had a little bit of white space, so why not throw some stickers in there just to raise the vibe and make it super, super happy when I look back at my plans to remember what I did. So still practicing that hand lettering, not getting much better, <laughs> but practicing of course is what's going to make me more confident and comfortable and eventually I should be happy with my lettering. So where am I? I'm on Monday here and I thought, well, I'm throwing a couple stickers on Tuesday. Let's throw some stickers here on Monday. I didn't have a whole lot to do on my to-do list, so let's just make it pretty. And then here we go into Friday. Now, I don't know about for you guys, but for me, when I start to lose steam during the week and I'm not planning the night before, 
it doesn't get any better for the rest of the days that follow. Do you know what I mean? Like if I'm losing steam by Wednesday or Thursday, I'm for sure not gonna do well Friday, Saturday, Sunday with my planning. So on this particular Friday, again, I didn't have much to do. I put in just a couple of the things that I managed to get done. And then I did set up a little bit of a to-do list, but again, it was like super ambitious and I wasn't sure if I was gonna get any of it done. So this page again became a lot of decoration, which is okay in my book. You know, um, my goal is to pre-plan so that my days can be more productive. But if I don't get that done, then I can, you know, cover over white spaces with stickers and I can still make a success out of this page. Like I said, again, I don't want to look at my planner and go, oh gosh, you didn't get anything done that day and then start to feel bad about it. So putting in pretty stickers helps me keep the vibe way high on the pages where I didn't get a lot done. So I'm putting in things like washi and now you'll see for this particular planner, if you're putting a washi down, you will most likely want to white it out because you can see the gray bar and the word schedule through my washi tape but I didn't really mind I just wanted to get some stickers down I'm just learning and playing with this planner so at least I know for next time if I want to put a washi down I should probably white it out first so I just put in a couple of big stickers that's one of the things i love about the happy planner books is they've got the big quote stickers so if i need to fill a big space like you know my entire day i can do that with a big beautiful quote and so that's what i did here i did manage to carve out some desk time for myself so that was productive so i got to sit at my desk i got to go through my to-do list and i did get to knock out a bunch of things so even though I might not have felt great about the fact that I didn't pre-plan this day, I'm still putting out those positive vibes. So I'm in the happy memory keeping sticker book right now, which has so many cute things and I can never really find um, great uses for some of these stickers. Like I said, the animal stickers, I'm not really sure when I'll be able to use that functionally, maybe on a day when we go to the zoo and something like the rainbow and the love bug uh, on this page. I can't really find a very functional way to do it because I don't know, you know, I'm too literal. I'm thinking, when am I ever going to ride in a Volkswagen? That's the only time I would use that sticker. <laughs> so I decided to use it here where I had tons of white space. It's bright, it's pink, it's pretty, and it just makes me happy. Here we are moving into Saturday and for me, Saturday was supposed to be a day where I had uh, my kids with their dads, so that leaves open a lot of space for me to do some work. I'll pack up, I'll go to a Starbucks, and I will spend hours there just creating content, journaling, um, you know, just kind of doing things that make me feel productive and make me feel happy. I don't know how many of you are stay-at-home moms, but I find myself falling into a rut sometimes where I'm not getting things done and I'm pretty much, I'm just doing the housework and, and uh, cooking and getting the kids off to school and things like that. But for me personally, I need a project. I need something always happening. So that is what I will do. I will haul off to a, a coffee shop and just work on a project. Now it doesn't have to be a crazy big project. It doesn't have to be, you know, a, a big money maker or anything like that. Uh, it just has to be something that makes me happy. So I'll take my planners and, you know, spread the sticker books all around me, lay out some goals, just write down what's in my head. And I love to do that in the environment of a Starbucks where there's a lot of other people who are being productive. And so it's just, it just kind of lends itself to that environment, you know? So going through and again, not pre-planning, I did have a really, really ambitious to-do list. I've got filming and editing down there, but I honestly didn't get to do any of it because I had to reschedule my son going to his dad's house. Now he got a double eye infection, double ear infection, and was super, super congested in his chest. So I decided to keep him home. He's got siblings over there and we just didn't want to get anybody else sick. So Avi got really sick. He got pink eye and I just didn't want him spreading that around. So I kept him home that day, which meant that my trip to Starbucks didn't happen. So I didn't get all my productivity things. I, I didn't get my filming or my editing done, but I had my good mama vibes. You know, I stayed home. I took care of my son. I loved and cuddled on him anytime he wasn't feeling well, which was the majority of the day 
because you know if you've got a sick little one at home they just don't feel good and they just need some mama cuddles so that's basically what this day was I should have just written in big letters over the entire schedule mama cuddle <laughs> and that is what this day pretty much consisted of I'm putting good things take time right down here because I know that once I get the filming and the editing done, I'm going to like it and it's gonna be fun and enjoyable. So I put that little reminder down there. And as far as productivity, I gave myself a one. If I was rating my mama skills or my mama productivity, it would have been at 10. But you know, I did wanna rate how I'm doing with my YouTube channel and blogging and things like that. And so I didn't get anything done. So that's why I gave myself a one that day but I had a really good excuse. My little one was sick. So rolling into Sunday, this day didn't require a lot of pre-planning simply because it was my mom's birthday. So I was looking back at the other pages, trying to keep um, a similar theme going, and I realized that there wasn't a theme, but that's okay. If you're using a new planner, um, I suggest just getting into it and not worrying if it is beautiful, decorated perfectly, if it's got a theme to it. Just get in there, get dirty, put your plans down and start to organize your life using a new planner and see if it works for you. So that is what I'm doing with this first week. So on Sunday, I did get a lot of things um, done that were birthday related. So this one is a little bit more of a memory spread. So I wanted to write down everything that I did on my mom's birthday. So I woke up in the morning, I got her favorite breakfast from this cute little coffee shop in my town called Ninth Bar. I got her favorite latte from Starbucks. And so it was just a really nice start to her day. So again, with the Happy Planner, I found an opportunity to use these stickers. I think that these gold balloon stickers are really pretty, but I just never really thought that I would use them. So of course they are perfect for a birthday and I loved bringing them out and using them on this day. So several stickers later, here we are with almost the finished look. Uh, I have my little sidekick here and I told you guys that my desk is actually on my living room floor so my kids can come and go and they can get down on the floor and play around with me. So this is my little one Gianna who is here to help me finish this spread and I just think it's so fun that we can do stickers together and yes the planners have a function and um, they help you get things done but you know it's also a lot of creativity and it's something that you can do together with the family um, so if I ever have an opportunity to include my family on doing plans or plan with me anything like that I love to include my girls especially so I'm putting in that last date on Sunday which ends up being the 20th like I said my mom's birthday and then I'm just gonna flip back through and see what I'm looking for for the week because I've got to do weekly notes and I've got to do my weekly review. So I'm just going to look back at the first page that I wrote for the week and then come in and fill out all of my weekly notes. And like I said, I'm doing this to make sure that I keep a good memory of what's going on in the week because even though I've got things written down as far as my schedule and my to do's, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean that that stuff got done. Like you guys saw, I didn't get everything done that I wanted for my plan this week. But in the weekly notes section, I like to jot down just a little blurb, a little something that happened that day so that I can remember, especially when it comes to my weekly review, because I think that there is so much importance in doing a weekly review. There's no way for you to get better if you don't look back and see where you can make improvements. So in order to have the most successful weekly review, I put those weekly notes in there to just kind of jog my memory and record the highs and the lows of the week. So once I finish my weekly notes, it's time to do the weekly review. So doing this week's main goal, the wins, what tasks were not completed and why, what habits I didn't pursue and why, what I've learned this week, how do I feel about my progress this week, and most important, how I will improve next week. So I put a big circle around that goal achieved because I didn't quite make it to my goal, didn't get the reward, but I did have some really good wins this week. So for me, my family was happy. I got to celebrate my mom's birthday and my little boy, even though he was sick, got to stay home with me, which I love. 
So I do flip back just a little bit back and forth to see what my goals were and to kind of again assess how I can improve things. So just writing down what tasks were not completed and why. Um, to me, I think that the reason why my tasks did not get completed this week is because I didn't plan ahead and I wasn't mindful of my day. I just kind of was like a tumbleweed in the road. Do you ever have weeks like that where you just kind of go and let things happen and kind of roll with the punches? The habits I didn't pursue, I know the most important one I didn't pursue was meditation. That is so important for me. It gets momentum going in the right way and really makes sure that I stay clear headed and I get my goals achieved. So that's a big one for me. I know better than that. <laughs> so I had to write that one down. So after that reflection, I was able to accurately write down what I learned this week. And by thinking about what the habits and tasks weren't completed, made me realize that I really just need a break. I need a break from all the pressure that I put on myself to be perfect. So for me, I wrote that nothing gets accomplished well and my mental state suffers. So that is a very big takeaway for my week. The next is how I actually feel about my progress. And I didn't want to just write down, well, I feel pretty crummy because I didn't actually get all my plans done. But hey, what can I say? I'm still learning. <laughs> so the next thing is how I will improve the next week. And I've got three lines here for three action steps. So for me, I'm gonna go easy on the goals for a little while. I'm gonna still plan my day with intention and continue to use my Clever Fox Planner, but I'm gonna practice being productive with things I can do easily so that I can still maintain my vibe. So that's it for this week. We get into the dashboard for the next week and I'm just gonna flip back through here and kind of take a look at my progress. Of course, my habits and skills Look at how funny that is. I only did Monday, didn't get to Tuesday or the rest of the week. So I just kind of highlighted that there, but I still had a great time. I think the planner is beautiful. It's super functional and I cannot wait to get into next week. Okay, time for the giveaway details. So to enter to win, all you have to do is follow Clever Fox Planner on Instagram, follow me Posh Plum Plans on Instagram, and then just leave a comment down below. I'd love to know your biggest takeaway or your light bulb moment from this video, or even the Clever Fox Planner you're gonna choose if you're selected to win. I'll leave their details down below so you can take a look at their other planners too and see which one would best benefit your life. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.